Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, in this session, we will discuss exercise 7.4 from additional mathematics uh, course for IGCSE and O-level students. Uh, in this session, uh, we will discuss uh, about the area of uh, uh, rectilinear figures and um, here uh, we have uh, uh, to find the area of these uh, triangles. Uh, in the next questions, we have uh, quadrilateral A, B, C, D. Three vertices, uh, four vertices are given, and it forms a quadrilateral. And we have to find the area. And in the third questions, we have P, Q, R uh, are given, uh, where uh, one of uh, the vertices is given in terms of K, and that uh, it is given that the triangle is right angled at Q, and we have to find the value of K. Uh, find the area of the triangle PQR. So this is uh, third question and the fourth question. A is the point this and B is the point this and M is the midpoint of the line A and B. So A point is given and B point is given and the midpoint uh, of the line ABC point C is such that uh, MC is equal to this. So find the coordinate of M and C and show that CM is perpendicular to AB and find the area of the triangle ABC. So these kind of questions. So let's uh, start from one, question number one. So, so the area of rectilinear figures are obtained through this way. So this is x1, x2, x3 and then x1. Again, uh, if, if, if it goes on, then we can go through x2, x3, x4, x5. And eventually the last one repeats. So in this way that this, this, this uh, is multiplied x1, xy2, x2, y3, x3, y1 and similarly minus sign and this multiplied x2, y1, y, y1, x2 same, y2, x3 same and y3, x1. So this is all with negative sign. So if we take negative common then this can be right down in one bracket and this can be right down in one bracket. So this is uh, this indicates a positive sign and this the opposite gives a negative sign. So what is it in anti-clock direction modulus positive uh, what is it in clockwise direction modulus uh, this is negative. So this is uh, we can see uh, express this as this one. So let's start exercise 7.4. We have uh, given this uh, ABC and uh, we have to find the area. This is X1, uh, Y1, similar X2, Y2 and this is 5 and 6 on this. And this 2, 3 is repeats and we can find the area by multiplying this and then subtract with this one. So we have write down all this everything uh, like we discussed earlier and then we have obtained this. So the value is in terms of absolute, so it will always be positive. This is area. Area is in, uh, in always gives in terms of positive value. So this is first and second question similarly. And the start goes to question number uh, uh, third. We have given uh, PQR. Uh, here is a P point, Q point and R point and this is uh, a triangle, this is a right angle triangle, this is 90 degree and this line is coming to this side, so this becomes right angle at 90 degree at Q, so this is given that the right angle at Q and the gradient of PQ should be uh, in reciprocal to this, negative reciprocal. So this uh, gradient is obtained as 2. So the gradient of uh, QR is uh, QR is different. So when we multiply this gradient uh, with this gradient, it gives minus 1. So PQ gradient or uh, QR, PQ gradient and QR gradient, PQ gradient and QR gradients. Uh, if you multiply this then it gives minus 1. So this is uh, PQ gradient and this is QR gradient it is obtained as this. So we multiplied it and we have obtained this. So this is 
the minus 5 so k plus 4 is equal to this minus 5 here so this shift here so it's minus 5 and minus 4 is minus 9 so this k value is minus 9 this is uh, minus 9 here we can see this here so this is minus 9 Yeah. this is 7 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and this is 9 yeah. so it is uh, evident so the area of PQR so 1 3 4 7 minus 9 this k is minus 9 and then 1 4 is repeated and then the area is obtained the same way so let's start uh, question number uh, Five. We have uh, angle ABC, A, B, and C is uh, ninety degree. Angle ABC is ninety degree, and M is the midpoint of the line AB. M, AB, this this point is midpoint six four. In the midpoint of the line ABC, the point C lies on the y-axis. This lies on the y-axis. So, it is only y-coordinates are available and x-coordinate 0. x is 0 and y is some value. Now find the coordinate B and C and find the area of ABC. So, this is question number 5. And we have to find this. So ABC is given as 90 degrees, so this is 90 degrees, so this uh, uh, gradient and we have to find this gradient. So let us consider this MN point and uh, this is midpoint is 6, 4. So midpoint, uh, so this M uh, plus 8 divided by 2 is equal to 6, 4. So N plus 4 divided by 2 so this is uh, 3 plus n divided by 2 is 4 so from this we can obtain n value and m value so this is 6 4 so from this equating this one and equating this one and we can obtain m and n that is 4 and 5 so this is uh, 4 and 5 4 comma 5 now we have to find the point c so this is this uh, the gradient of this point is and uh, this gradients are reciprocal so so b uh, let point c is 0 minus n2 and gradient ab is equal to mab is minus half and mbc bc this is minus half and mbc are multiplied when we multiply it we get minus 1 so this is uh, minus half is here and this uh, mbc is this one and uh, when we multiply it we get minus 1 results so on simplification we have n2 plus 5 is equal to uh, this minus 1 goes out and this minus will cancel so eventually we have obtained n2 plus 5 is equal to uh, 3 to the 6 and uh, sorry so uh, this is basically 8 4 to the 8 so this is not correct so this is 4 to the 8 here and this is 5 shift here so this 8 minus 4 this is not correct this is correct so this n2 is 3 uh, 0 minus 3 so this c point is basically uh, 0 minus 3 and now area is uh, obtained as by substituting this uh, points vertices and we can obtain this a b and c and then a repeats and we can find the area of this so this is question number uh, 5 let's move to question number uh, uh, 7 AB is parallel AB is parallel to DC this DC points 
and BC is perpendicular to this AB. This information is given and we have to find the coordinates of this point C and find the area of trapezium ABC. So we have given that AB is parallel to DC and we have to find this C point. So uh, basically BC is perpendicular to this AB. So the gradient of AB is given as uh, 1 over 4 and now let's uh, coordinate of uh, C point as uh, M comma N and this is uh, 8 minus this 3.5 M. So MAB is equal to MCD is parallel and so this uh, is uh, this is parallel. So from this we have this equation 1 and uh, gradient BC. This BC is uh, obtained as this. So from BC we have this one. So MBC and MAB when we multiply together we get minus 1 because of perpendicularity. Perpendicular. So this gives uh, equation this. So we have two equations and from this equation 1 and equation 2 we can solve it simultaneously can obtain m and n values n is equal to 9 and m is equal to 7.5 so this the coordinates of c is 7.5 and 9 now once we have obtained this coordinates of c as uh, 7.5 and uh, 9 so now we can place it A, B, C, D and then this A again and can find the area of the trapezium easily that is 38.25. That's easy, very easy. So let's uh, move back to uh, uh, the other problems are also easy. Let's go back to solve uh, question number. 9 the coordinates of uh, three vertices of parallelogram a b c d uh, uh, are a b and c are given and find the coordinates of the point of intersection of the diagonal diagonal points a b c d where we have some diagonal points and we have to find the intersection of the diagonal points and the coordinates of the point d this point d is not given here so find the area of the parallelogram a b c d so we have to find the uh, question number 9 This question number nine. We have we have this A point, B point, and C point, and D point is not given. So this is assumed as M comma N, and the coordinates of uh, intersection of A of a diagonal. So midpoint of AC, A, uh, B and C. The midpoint between A and C uh, is the intersection of the diagonal. This, this diagonal and this diagonal. So we have to find the midpoint of that diagonal. So this midpoint M is equal to minus 4 plus 15 divided by 2, 3 minus 1 divided by 2. So that is 5.5. .5 and 1. This is the midpoint between this and the D point is this. So the gradient of CD, this uh, CD, this CD gradient is uh, MCD, MAB. AB gradient of this one and gradient of this one are equals because they are parallel. So the gradients are same. So MAB gradients is this and MCD gradient is this. So when equating we have uh, one equation, this equation and from gradient BC and ADR, BC and ADR parallel. So BC and AD uh, are parallel from this we have another equation this. 
so these two equations we can solve it simultaneously so from these two relations this, this equation and this equation so we have two equations number equations we have this one equation and the second equation is from this part so this equation so on solving this two simultaneously we have obtained m is equal to 6 and n is equal to 7 so this 6 and 7 are obtained so what we did here simply nothing more this line and this line is parallel these conditions are used and this line and these lines are parallel so these conditions are used and in this way we have formed two equations and that two equations this m and n are given so we have find out this values so this was uh, lengthy one but it's not very really difficult so we have obtained this value n and m by solving this simultaneous equation equation one from this uh, this conditions gradient of bc and ad and gradient of cd and ab these gradients gives one equation and this condition bc and ad parallel condition gives another equation so these two equations are solved simultaneously and we have found these papers so this is and uh, by using this all coordinates we can find out the area of the parallelogram that is this so it's not very difficult and uh, this all from uh, this exercise 7.4 and in the next session we will discuss uh, 7.5